You want to upgrade and have no clue if it's possible? Stay tuned and let's find out. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to a new video. And in today's video I want to discuss with you is it possible to upgrade your Pandora box or your Pandora key. I found some things out and I really want to share it with you before you're going to buy random Pandora main boards and figuring out that it is not possible to upgrade your stick. And that will be a very waste of your money. So stay tuned and let's see what are the differences between all the sticks. Alright, let's take a close look at the Pandora box number 5 and this is the Pandora box from 3E Games. And the first thing that I'm noticing that with all these Pandora boxes or keys, they all got their own unique cable tree. And what I'm trying to say with this is that you've got this basic EDA connector but the colors are all different. So if you have a Pandora key and you want to upgrade to a Pandora box 6 from 3E Games, it's highly possible that your cable tree will be useless and you cannot yeah you can just plug it in but everything is messed up you can just yeah swap out the little connectors or you can just um, yeah swap out everything but it is still possible that it is not usable so that uh, not only the six buttons are not in the right place you can reconfigure it even with the software but a lot of things like coin start button that are not working at all so i always recommend if you buy a pandora key or a pandora box and you want to just upgrade it to the other one keep in mind always buy one with a cable tree because you're really going to need it and there are even some slightly differences, but that's something I'm going to show you later. And what you can see already here, they are using this little prints for, um, for example, you can use the stick on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. And this is something that is very unique. Only 3A games are using this technology or this way of connecting your Pandora box together. So there are differences you don't see on other sticks and you really need to consider, yeah, if I upgrade it, can I use my mainboard and all the functions? All right, let's grab a Pandora key. And this is a very good comparison. And first of all, if you look at the top buttons, there are only the power player one and the player two start button, the coin and the pause and menu button. And we're missing out a lot of buttons. All the little buttons are not available on this Pandora shell or this arcade shell. So I'm opening it up. The first thing that I'm noticing is that it's using the same EDA connector, like the old days from the Pendium Force. But what you can see already here is that not all the connectors are filled up with cables. So yes, one thing is for sure, if you want to put this Pandora, Pandora key 7 in my Pandora 6 3E games, it's highly possible when connecting everything that the top buttons will not work. So there are things that you really need to consider again. And the colors are all different so the connectors and the type of connectors here on the main board are all different so again if you buy a pandora key 7 or great you need to have the cable tree and you need to connect them all and you need to really just find out how are they working and this is going to be in trial and error story because you just need to connect it uh, go to the setting menus and check out what, what button are what connections something you can figure out for yourself that's not a big problem all right, let's take a close look at how this stick, Akuma stick, because it looks a little bit like the Akuma from Street Fighter. It's a totally bootleg con yeah, arcade stick. Oh man, I forgot to unscrew it. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's open it up. And what you already can see is that there are more connection dish in this stick. Yeah, and that's because of the lighter feature. So if you want to use lighter buttons, and there's something to <laughs> this is very, very good to talk about, is that yeah, you really need to consider again, is it even possible? Or where do I need to get my uh, right voltage from? Because we have got 12 volts and we've got 5 volts. And there are a little bit of things you need to consider again. So if you want to add lighter buttons, is it possible? Yes, but you really need to solder everything correctly. And again, the cable tree is totally different. We got more 
cables going around. And this is something that is very unique again. This one got three buttons. Play one, play two, and a menu button. And we're missing out the coin button in this case. So again, we got a slight difference in the shell and that is resulting that we have some other problems with the connector. So in this case, it seems to be that it got maybe the same amount of connector spins here, but they are all in different places. So if you want to connect it all, this is going to be one heck of a job of connecting everything together. This is by the way in Pandora key. Um, yeah, they slapped the name Pandora box on that 6S, but it has nothing to do with Pandora box of 3E games. So yeah, and even the power supply here in the inside is, I hope you can see it on the camera. Yes, you can see it. The power supply is, um, is connected inside of the casing and is going straight into the power of the mainboard at this, si this side. So also they did a little bit of changes here. So all these little things they changed out. And yeah, if you want to pull out the connector, I don't know if you can use it in the Pandora box mainboard or the new Pandora Key 7 mainboard. So there are a lot, a lot of differences. Let's check out the elastic where I've seen something that I've never seen before. And for the final stick, I'm going to give you a close look at the 8 button of the 3A games Pandora stick. And this is what makes this thing very unique of the other ones. If you maybe you can see it already. I know I'm not talking about the 8 buttons. If you look at the connector here, and this is what makes it very, very unique. This is really an old school EDA connector. Normally you have the pins that are sticking straight in every socket, but in this version, it's really like an old school EDA connector. And this is something I have never seen before. So I have upgraded this version from five to six in another video. And it worked just fine. Do you know why? Because it's from the original 3A company. So I know for sure this is going to work. But if I want to put in a Pandora key number seven, it's highly possible that my functions of most of the functions are not working anymore. And let's go back to the other side. Again, like a, no, a lot of a lot of sticks have three or two buttons at the, of, yeah three or two buttons at the top. This one got again a lot of extra buttons. For example, we got your pause for the PlayStation Xbox select back D-pad uh, for the for, for the stick and D-pad uh, selection swapping out start coin power. There are a lot of buttons and they are all connected here at this big PCB board. So yeah. This can be a problem if you want to put a Pandora key number seven in here. So that are things you really need to consider. Uh, what kind of casing do I have and what is it even possible to upgrade it? Um, the original cable tree that comes with this Pandora, uh, I must say that was uh, similar to all the other ones. But again, I couldn't use it in this casing. All right, but we have spoken a lot about the cable trees, the differences and what you need to do or what you can expect when trying to upgrade your old stick. But something you really need to consider and look at your stick is how are the connection ports? The most of the yeah, Pandora and Pandora box, Pandora keys are the same, but there are slightly some differences between these little connectors. So check out the upgrade system you really want to have and check out the back of the box because sometimes they will not fit in your Pandora key this way. And the TV box for rounding up this video. This is a very yeah, nice uh, way of showing what is possible. I did not use an arcade version of the Pandora box with a Yamaha connector. No, I choose the family edition. And how is this possible? Very simple. I did some uh, modification at the main board. I just assembled it another way. And most important, I got the original Pandora 6 and 5 cable tree. So I did some, uh, needed some, uh, yeah, some, some uh, soldering skills for yeah, getting thing, everything uh, right because it was not plug and play, not at all. So keep that one in mind. And uh, so it's even possible to do this. If you have any questions, 
Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos and hit that little bell because you get notified. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.